Does size matter? Exploring myths and realities about female anatomy. What are the most common myths about female orgasms that we should debunk? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Size is not a determining factor in women's sexual satisfaction. Sexual satisfaction depends on various factors, including communication, emotional connection, and comfort with the partner. Some common myths about female orgasms include the idea that all women should experience orgasms in the same way or that women should always reach orgasm during vaginal sex. The reality is that the orgasmic experience is diverse and personal. Female ejaculation, or squirting, has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Unusual fetishes. Fetishes can vary widely, and some individuals have unusual sexual interests. This may include an attraction to objects, specific roles, or unique situations. Focus on mutual pleasure. Like in any sexual activity, Focusing on mutual pleasure and the well-being of both parties is essential for a positive experience. Health effects. Female orgasms can have positive health effects such as reducing stress, improving sleep, and relieving menstrual pain. They can also strengthen pelvic floor muscles. Humility. Humility and the ability to admit mistakes and learn from them are attractive traits. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Influence of food on sex. Some foods are considered aphrodisiacs due to their supposed ability to increase sexual desire. Popular examples include chocolate, oysters, and avocado. Influence of alcohol on sex. Alcohol can impact sexual life. While a moderate amount can reduce inhibition and increase relaxation, excessive alcohol can negatively affect sexual function. Submission and domination games, known as BDSM, can be a consensual and safe way to explore intense fantasies and emotions in intimacy. Communication and respect are crucial in these practices. Caretta is an approach to sexual intimacy that focuses on emotional connection and mindfulness rather than orgasm. This practice promotes prolonged and deep sexual relationships based on the idea that controlling arousal can strengthen the connection between partners. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Multiple orgasms. Unlike men, many women can have multiple orgasms in a single sexual session without a refractory period. This means they can have several orgasms in succession without needing a break. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Orgasm and pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, 
men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. This can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Cervical orgasm. For some women, the cervix becomes an erogenous zone during sex, and proper stimulation of this area can lead to intense cervical orgasms. Each person is different, and some may find this type of orgasm surprisingly pleasurable. Paraphilias are patterns of atypical sexual attraction. Some examples include object fetishization, voyeurism, watching others have sex, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, domination, submission, sadism, and masochism. Paraphilias can be harmless as long as they are practiced consensually and safely. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Positive body language, confident posture, and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Posture and body language, confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive as they convey confidence and self-esteem. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. The relationship between sex and mental health, mental health and sexuality are interconnected. Having a healthy sex life can contribute to better emotional well-being and reduce anxiety and depression. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Risks and injury prevention. Lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, questions arise about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex in dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex and sports. Regular physical activity can improve sexual function and performance. Exercise can increase stamina and blood circulation, often translating into better sexual health. Sex and aging, as people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.